Well, welcome back. This is episode five of the beginning of Hall Family Farms here in Central Virginia. And as you can see, uh, we have made progress on our dedicated electrical circuit that we've run out to the greenhouse. We've got the cable buried. Uh, today's project will be installing the duplex receptacle and switches so that we can have the circuit complete. But before we get into today's project, I want to give you a kind of an update here in the greenhouse. So the plants that we have overwintered from this past spring and summer are doing quite nicely. As you can see, these petunias are just really putting on a show right now. And uh, our hibiscus standard trained trees are doing well and then we have this lemon tree right here that uh, we actually started from a seed from a lemon that was bought at the store and it's doing quite nicely as you can see in fact I'm gonna have to probably repot it uh, but it's looking really well so anyway so we're gonna get into today's project and so um, the reason for running the dedicated electrical circuit out here to the greenhouse is that we need to supplement heat at night. It gets down into the 20s, 30s, sometimes the teens. And so you can see here I have a little space heater that's working quite nicely for us so far. But the problem is, is that we are running this little space heater on extension cords. And that's not the safest way to go about doing that. So. What we've done is we've run a 10 gauge um, wire out here to the greenhouse and it is a dedicated circuit and you can see we've got the receptacle box already in place with the cable coming up and through the conduit that we've buried in the ground and uh, we're going to install this GFCI uh, duplex receptacle here at the bottom and I'm not a trained electrician so I want to make that very clear uh, but according to my home improvement manual that I received as a Christmas gift a few years back from my father-in-law believe it's from Home Depot uh, it indicates that you can put up to four receptacles uh, beyond this GFCI and it will protect up to four receptacles. So uh, we're going to be actually double covered because I've actually also installed at the breaker panel a GFCI uh, breaker, circuit breaker. Um, so we should be good to go, but we're going to get this installed today. So let me get started and we can see if this works, all right? Well, as you can see, I've got the GFCI duplex receptacle wired in to the box. Just got to shove the wires back in. Uh, but before I do that, I've decided to run uh, an additional wire up along the side of the door here to another box which I plan to have a switch and a receptacle so that I can turn on and off uh, some grow lights that I plan to have out here. So um, I'll give you an update once I get that complete. Well I just finished installing the all-in-one arc fault ground fault circuit breaker into my panel. So I'm going to show you that right now. And as you can see, uh, we've got it installed in the breaker panel box here. And I did not misspell the word greenhouse. It's just, uh, they don't give you a lot of space to write on. So I had to kind of break it up into two words. Um, Anyway, so that's it. So we have it installed. So we've got a 20 amp arc fault, ground fault circuit breaker. 
dedicated to the greenhouse now. So we'll go out and show you what that looks like. Well, we're back out at the greenhouse. As you can see, the petunias are still doing amazing out here, putting on a show for us. And so, I'll show you what we've got here. So we've got the ground fault duplex receptacle installed with a weather cover since we have a lot of humidity and moisture in the greenhouse we want to kind of protect our circuit that we just put in so we have the uh, 10 gauge wire running from the house underground into the greenhouse as you can see and uh, then what I decided to do was run a, a 10 gauge wire from the duplex receptacle up along the door frame and I installed another box here at the top as you can see we've got a switch and I'm going to put another cover in there to kind of conceal that a little bit better but I've got a switch here that I can turn on to activate the duplex here that's being protected by the ground fault circuit breaker below and the one that we installed in the breaker box and as you can see, I've already got a, a cord hooked into this, and this closes here. And as you can see, I brought out my seed trays, uh, and I also have a waterproof um, bottom heater mat here to give bottom heat to the to the seedlings when we get those in here. And then I've also got a um, a grow light. Let's, let's see if we can switch that on. Okay, and as you can see, we've got that on, and I've got another one that I'm going to bring out, and we may even as we go along update the lighting out here so we'll have even more light as we expand our seed production. So, anyway, it'll be good to get that out here. Uh, so that's what we've got going on in the greenhouse so far, and I'm probably going to go ahead and I may uh, run another line off of this box down below and run a wire outside so that we'll have electricity outside of the greenhouse to run any of the electrical hand tools that we might need, such as uh, electric weed eater, uh, hedge trimmers, and so forth. So that's what we've got here. Uh, in the greenhouse, so just thought I'd give you that quick update. Uh, also uh, updated uh, our space heater. So uh, if you recall, we had the small one, ceramic heater with a, a built-in thermostat, and that's what we were using. And I've kind of upgraded so we can get the temperature up a little bit more here. And we're in January, so... January and February are usually the coldest months of the year here in Central Virginia, so uh, I think that this one will keep us a little warmer out here. I'm planning to bring out some more indoor plants from inside. We've also got the tomato cuttings that have rooted uh, that we're going to move out here and get them growing out here so they'll have more room to grow, as well as the cucumbers that we started from seed. And so we'll be giving you an update in the next episode on those as we move them out here. So anyway, if you haven't already, uh, please give a uh, thumbs up if you like this uh, content. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll, and, and click the notification bell so that you'll get notified when we upload additional episodes here um, so that you can follow along with us on our journey. Alright, so until next time, take care. Alright. Alright, sit here, Riley. Here you go. There you go. Alright, sit right there. Look at the camera. Alright. Uh, hey. How's everyone out there, YouTube world? Hey, uh, just wanted to introduce you to my new gardening buddy, 
This is Riley. She's uh, nine weeks old. And she's going to be my new gardening partner, right, Riley? Yeah, right. Uh, she's going to be my new gardening partner and companion. She is a golden doodle. Her mom was a golden retriever, and her dad was a standard poodle. Isn't that right? So, we are already in the training phases of working together as gardening buddies. Teaching her how to dig holes, right, Riley? Yeah, she likes to dig holes. So we're gonna see if we can work together and have her dig the holes so that I can plant the plants as we go through this first year here on Hall Family Farms. And um, so hopefully you'll get to see a lot of her in the upcoming episodes as we videotape and the different adventures that we plan to, to go on and do, right? Riley, right? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? She's a little camera shy right now, but uh, hopefully as we go along, she'll she'll liven up a little bit. Right, Riley? All right. Well, let's say goodbye to the people out there for now, okay? Can we say goodbye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, see you here in a little bit. All right?